Hey, John, I thought I'd run this just, uh, I just downloaded this week's data. So we'll see what happens. I'm starting at a $2,500 margin, uh, with commissions and all that. So I'm taking all the indicators off cause we don't need them. I only left the one, um, uh, 55 EMA on here just uh, as a guide to see what it is. Um, but I do, I have seen some things that we need to be looked at. So let me throw in auto mode and let's just take a look at. Entry zone long. Okay. So there are some things I kind of want to look at here and that's how the entry zone I really want the pullback, so I like to attach it to the EMA. If not this one, another one, or whatever, but the point of it is, uh, I want the pullback. So we could do some offsets, and we could do that now. The only problem with doing that, then on the ones that we want, we won't get. So there has to be a fine line until I get that logic done. But needless to say, um, all our rules are met that we had talked about today, and obviously that's why you're getting the background color, and it's going to get in one contract, um, and we'll see where it goes, like we had talked about with our stop management and everything. See, this is what I was talking about. It just went, so it hit our target, and it instantly got right back in again. And the question you're asking, well, why did it get back in again? Because all the rules are still true. It is not until it kind of comes down and gives you a full reversal bar that they're no longer true and the background color goes off. So that 40 ticks really kind of, so there's a few things we could do to avoid that. And that is, you know, one trade per cycle. Um, but technically you'd still get it because this would be a cycle and this would be a cycle. And so you would have gotten that anyway. So that one have cured it. So there's some things we got to look at, but they're still true. So, um, if we did that offset thing that I was talking about with following the, the EMA, it wouldn't have gotten in on another one until down here, but then it would have been off anyway. If it followed this EMA, it would have been off anyway, and it would have been invalid, and that would have been the end of it. So needless to say, we're in this one because it was true, and now we got to deal with it. And there's another one. So, yeah. You know, now that I think about it, there is another way we can do it um, without the entry zones. We could use a crossover. Um, that might be something to look at, too. So just when we get the crossover and we can make the crossover whatever we want. So that's something to look about, look at later. Yep, there it is again. So, hmm. You know, the thing, what I'm, if we extend that 40 ticks target to a little bit longer, then that would get us out of the area. So for a short term, hmm, let's see here, hold on a minute. 40 ticks, we got out there at 40. If we extend, oh boy, we'd have to extend it to 75. We could just have a trail running. You know, we could do at 40 ticks, we could say, uh, this is an idea. So at 40 ticks, just do different stop management. Just follow it by uh, a trail and it'll take it all the way down until it pops out. And when it pops out, it'll be invalid because it will no longer be eligible and then therefore it won't take that second trade. So that is a way to do it. And there it is again. Yeah, see, we need to extend that. So let me do that right now. I'll be right back. We can start this again if I have to. Okay, so I've just extended that. At the 40 ticks that we had said the target, I made it... Um, Crap, I'm going to do one more thing. Hold on. Okay, so at, I took off the 40 ticks and moved it and extended it to 80. But at 40 ticks, I started the trade management, and it will trail it all the way up. 
and then it gets tighter and you can see what that is later. So let me turn it on auto and uh, let's let her rip. There's our 40 ticks and there's the stop management there. And now we're out of our, our red, so it won't take another trade. So that was my intent, so we'll see. Plus we get more money. The other option to do is remove that target altogether and just let it run. And when it gets up to, you know, whatever ticks, then we'll just chase it really tight. Okay, we're getting butchered there. We could prevent that somehow. I got to find out what that's all about. <laughs> all right, maybe a little bit more homework. It wants to keep trying to go down because the rules are met, but maybe at some point when it gets exhausted, we have to say no more. See, John, that's why I like that confirmation. It costs a little bit of money, but man, if we do that and work on that confirmation, then uh, I think there's a way to eliminate some of these. Yeah, like all, the, all of these here. Let me explain that real quick. Let me pause this real quick. So, for instance, right here, if we had the zone, and rather than getting in right away, if we had a little confirmation like, uh, I don't know, six or eight ticks, in our direction so it's gonna the trigger is gonna come down it's gonna come down it's gonna come down and only until it goes back up will it take us with it or well no we're going down so only if it um, let's see let's do it this way it's coming here it's gonna trail 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 uh, and when it trips and triggers like let's say right here only if it comes down will it trip us in in this case, it goes up, so it would just invalidate itself after you know so many ticks, whatever we set it for. Same thing here. It comes down. It's waiting for it to trip. It trips. It comes there, and now it it will just invalidate itself. So basically, what we're doing is we're saying when it trips, set a a stop a sell stop here, and invalidate it if it gets up too high. So that's a way to do it. However. When it does go down, unless it goes up, it trips, and then you get in down here, you're giving up from, you know, from here to there. So you're giving up 10, 12, 15 ticks. So, you know, there's a payoff. But I think we're going to miss a lot of these losing trades that just go the opposite direction. So like this one, we would have never gotten in. It would have invalidated. It would have done it again. We would have never gotten in, and it would have invalidated. So it would have been two right there that we didn't lose. Anyway. Things to talk about. Yeah, I saw that having a little trouble getting getting going here. Don't really like it. All right, we're about ready to have the market open, so um, we'll see what it does. So we're basically starting at zero at the open. Which is good, I guess. So we lost our money. We had like eight hundred something dollars, and we lost it all. But I think we can clean this up. I really think we're coming a long way. So we can continue next week. John, I'm going to stop it here. Um, it's 9.30, so we have a little time left. Let me, I want to make a change to this entry zone and set up um, as far as where it's getting in. Um, and I'll be back.
Okay, I made a slight change to the offset, the entry zone offset, and yeah, all right, let me stop it right here. So you see how it came down, and it it had a trigger. If it would have kept going down, it would have never, it would have just timed out and invalidated us, and we would have never gotten in. But we're given up, um, you know, from let's just use the center point. So we're given up the ten ticks. So. Let's see what happens. So right here, it touched, because you got the touch arrows. So price touches, you see those little pullbacks. And then it goes, okay. I mean, I don't want to give it too much. There's your 40, and there's now we're dealing with a little. Yeah, so we might lose it there. Huh? Or not. Stop yeah, okay, so. You know, the other option we could do is do two contracts, get one off at 30, or, you know, if you want your 40, you do the 40, and then let the other one run. Because it won't take another trade because it's already in a trade. More options to do. I just want to look at this uh, entry zone. I know we, there's ways to clean this up. So, you know what else I will do? Hold on a minute. Let me, let me pause this. Where's my cursor? I am going to throw on the 21 range uh, trigger They're just for visual things. So, let me, um, now I'm going to leave this EMA on. Okay, hold on. Okay, what I've done is I've turned on the range chart just as a point of reference um, to see if we can kind of clean this up again as far as where we're getting in, as you can see here. So let's just leave that on for now. If it gets too obnoxious, I just don't want to have all these lines on. You just can't see what's going on. And it looks like um, we're about ready to blow our account here. We only got $2,500. So uh, on, a, on a prop firm account, so there's 969 left. So we got to... <laughs> We gotta stay clear of that. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can see plotting that really is slowing me down. Yeah, this is that area. There's that range area. We got we I. We need to find out what's, I mean, here we go again. We're seeing it again. We can't get past this area. This is a reversal. We got to stop the numerous attempts. Which actually we could put the chop box on that. Uh, that might work. Give it one attempt or maybe two attempts and that's it. That logic is in here already. Yeah, see how far away these are? Entry zone we got to move these entry zones down. Entry yeah, they're, they're... We need to get the pullback. Look how far away we are. All right, I, I think i kind of seen enough. I could uh, stop it here. I, I think we have some ideas of what to do. Wow, slow. All right, I, th I think I can call it there. Um, I see some things that could be modified. And that's why I wanted this 55 on here. So we could definitely work with that. Um, okay, so I think, I think it's good. You study it, make some notes, see what we need to do. And uh, see if you like what we got so far after talking today. And we'll see you in the trade room again next week. And uh, I'm probably, probably not going to be around Monday, but um, we'll see. Anyway, all right, if not, social hour. All right, bye.